Hi everybody, welcome to the NCHA Kid Cat Shooter Super Stakes, and we're joined now with Mr. Spud Sheehan. Welcome. Thanks, Mark. Congratulations, just marked a massive 228 on Hiss and Vinegar, owned by Jeff and Jennifer Follen. Mate, what a run. Yeah, it, it went according to plan. Everything it kind of fit in place? It did, you know, I mean, first two cows really good, and then the third cow was just right there on top, and I was like, there's a lot of really good horses here, and it's going to take a big score. And big power cut with 30 know, seconds left. Yeah, and so it's either works or it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Today it was. You could tell, like on that first cow, you come out there, and I mean, she right away got a hold of it, and you could tell that it was it was fixing to build into a special run. And then, like I said, you threw down with 30 seconds left there at the end. I mean, you had to go for it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, there's a lot of good people following you, and then everyone else is going to. So a lot of 220 plus scores yeah. here. It's a tough yeah. cutting for these seven year olds to go in there as well. Yeah, yeah. So your program's gone through a few changes here in the last year I mean you've gone from you know previously just training for the for the one place yeah. now you've opened up you've 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 got a ton of amateurs and non pros coming in on board um, so tell us a little bit about the transition I mean the snaffle bit horses you got a little bit of everything going yeah on. I mean everything's gone it's kind of like uh, yeah I got a lot of stuff going and you know it's it's good you know I mean change is always good and um, you know like Phil Hansen he trained this Mary Phenomenal job. Yeah. He won the Super Stakes yeah. on the last one, and you know, I mean, she's a really good horse. Um, yeah, and it's just, I mean, it's kind of, I've never really done it. I've always kind of had a job, and this is the first time I've ever really been on my own, and yeah, it's it's good. I like it a lot. What's it been like for you having to deal with with more customers instead of just having the one the one owner or you know the the one boss? I mean, now? yeah, it's it's good. I mean, it's um, you know. Uh, you get a lot of different people you know you don't you know it's a you got a lot more time that you you got to spend with your customers you know whereas like when it's one you just designate time and you know you set it like that where this is you got a lot and there's a lot you know a lot of them don't really get to practice or ride or whatever because you got a lot of stuff going on busy or you know so it's just yeah it's different and it's it's good I enjoy it you know I mean it's you know, I used to be very, um, uh, kind of had a schedule and everything. Now I'm like, seems like I'm unorganized and just, you know, trying to get with it and just, you know, it's it's different than what I've been used to, you know, yeah. for sure. So, you know, another thing you've done recently, you've, you've started, you know, getting in with the cow horse, doing the snaffle beat, did the snaffle beat for last year and doing some of those other events. How has that helped your program in, in the cutting uh, side? I, I, I tell you, that's a good question, I think, mate, because I, I think uh, definitely the cow horse has really helped. Um, anytime you can show, and it's a different discipline, so the first the first time I'm you extremely uncomfortable, you know, and, but you just put yourself in spots to where you, you know, learn to get better and you get comfortable, and, you know, and I think I think that really has helped me. Um, you know, it's it's helped me a lot with my business because there's a lot of people that that cow horse that want a cart and a lot of people that cart and want a cow horse so it's kind of you know helped me a lot with that sort of stuff is what I think you know yeah and just it's my horsemanship it's helped me all the way around there is you know that and showing and you know understanding a lot more things and yeah it's probably helped you break down some things a in the cutting more, whereas before yeah. you just kind of did, did, things, did the things muscle you know, memory now exactly. you're breaking it down yeah, probably yeah talking from talking you know with clint and some of the other guys yeah. that have experienced yeah. that that's kind of what we're hearing so yeah, yeah. thanks to bad been rising for this update from the kick cat sugar super steaks